All right, we're starting. Esports. <laughs> for second time. Oh my God! This is the okay. We got. We're actually alive. We got it all yep. figured out, guys. We got it figured out. All right. Um, put that. Put that. Um, that webcam back up. I don't know how you put that webcam back up. Hold on. Put the put the thing. Put it up. Put up the webcam. There you go. There we go. Hi. We are back. Or smash. Jeez. Okay. So what we're gonna do today is I might compete today. So I might have to. We're gonna we're gonna swap the announcers every two games. So they're really gonna start. Oh, they're, they're already starting right now. Okay, let's take yes, a look at this. They're starting a match. It's Bowser versus Incineroar. These Both are heavy. my two favorite characters. I love these characters so much. I play Bowser. I main Bowser. And t -Gram? Okay. So, awesome. They put me on a team. So, I'm going to be competing. <laughs> so, uh, I play Bowser, and it's kind of cool to see Grant play Bowser as well, because I already know how it works. He lands that side B. That side B, I love so much. That command grab does a lot of damage, and it, it you can suicide bomb with it, and it, it works great. The both uh, heavier characters just throwing down, throwing each other around. Yeah, they do. They do a lot of knockback. No. So, um, like I was saying, like Bowser is awesome. A lot, Bowser is a lot of fun. They both hit really hard. Bowser is the heaviest character in the entire game. So his 172 is kind of normal. Look at him go. One forward smash by Goose does take the stock right there. That's pretty first. First kill of the game, all right? Yeah. So, let's see how far he gets. He gets that up throw. Oh, he doesn't combo into it. Normally, that's his one combo throw. He gets that up air. He misses that lonely whip. Hits that forward tilt. Does a lot of damage, a lot of knockback. Awesome. Down B kills at 172, wow. I think. Just threw him up there. Yeah, okay, we're even now. 1-2-2. Two, two. Uh, Gray's got only like 2% on him, but that doesn't really matter with these heavies. It, the percentage, like he just they could throw right percent around. out like it does. Is it, they don't care. Well, percentage the is percentage. Then they can also take it as well. If you if you die with these heavy characters, it's your fault, not the character. Wow. <laughs> Look Dead. at that Alolan Whip to Revenge combo. It, it, it's not true, but it does so much damage. It already took Grant from what zero to Down sixty. Again. There you go. It, though. He gets that up out of shield. Comes out frame six. One of the fastest up. Uh, one of the fastest get out of shield options in the entire game. Does a lot of damage. He, he hits that, that revenge to Alolan yeah. Whip one more time. Gets that down air for the wow. kill. Oh my god, that was Aired. amazing. Okay, so they're standing at a oh, forward air wow. for Bowser. Okay, he tried to land that down. And, oh, and Goose messes up on the recovery. Oh, that this is a one-one. Wow. Yeah, look at this. Okay, oh, misses the revenge. I gotta play now. Okay, put me in. I gotta, I gotta go already. Bye. Bye, bye. Okay, and we got a new announcer, Isaac, back. Back in the game here. Yeah. We're actually to go off and have his own match in a second. I'll be watching here, See, but Cinderella it looks like Goose. won the game. Yep. Wow. All right, if I know that the tournament rules exact, I don't, <laughs> I did study the tournament rules before this, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe that it does mean that, um, thank you. <laughs> I do believe that does mean that, um, they move on to the next person. And yes. Go goes against uh, next person. Trying to figure out if that was a practice match or if that was the start of the tournament. This is the, this is the start. Okay. This is a, we're streaming right now. Gotcha. Starting the match. All right. All right, picking. It looks like we're gonna be picking the stage for this map now. The stage is gonna be choosing the song. All right, all right. It looks like Goose from the last match is gonna be starting at one stock. All right, looks like the map choice is gonna be small battlefield for this upcoming match here. Oh. What's happening? Seem to be having some technical difficulties there, but it looks like we are back in action here, at least with the first monitor. Ah, I see what's happening. They're switching out the switch docks.
Okay, it looks like we have a match going on here. It looks like a... I think these are players representing three teams. This is one per Drift team. King and so Rosalina and Luna. Okay, Donkey CT and Drift King. They we were we were just seeing them practicing just a little bit ago, and they were yeah going crazy. I do know that the last time that I was here, there was somebody who was playing Rosalina and Luma previously. I'm not sure if it they, was the same person. When we were practicing, Rosalina had you once. Mm -hmm. Both times, I think. Rosalina and Luna, I mean, you just got to create that space with yeah. Luma. That's what it's all about. Getting in close is not necessarily the answer there. You want to try and keep them at a distance. But that's the exact opposite, I was going to say, of Donkey CT's pick, which is yeah, Donkey Kong. You want to get up right close right. and just throw him around. He is more tanky, so you yeah. want to get up and close and personal because he's going to be taking less of that damage and dishing more out. He does have that speed, though. Don mm -hmm. Donkey Kong definitely does have a lot more speed when it comes to other heavies. That is absolutely true. So this will definitely be an interesting match to see to see how both players start off here. It and up. it looks like Donkey CT is going to start by doing a neutral B, charging up his, his, his punch for the Donkey Kong. Drift King kind of trying to find a place to move here. Trying to find an opening to attack. He's really wanting to avoid that neutral B. He doesn't want to get hit with Donkey Kong's fist and take the first amount of damage. So he's trying to find a way to try and open him up. Like that. Get a little bit. A little bit of a jab in there. Yeah. And now they're kind of just jumping around, bouncing up and down the map, trying to find a way to try and get into each other's personal space, but none of them can really find it right now. Just Drift King, find a Drift, I'd like to see Drift King use more of Luma to his advantage because he has that range where he can kind of poke out Donkey Kong a little bit more and get some jabs in like he did before. That Luma also helps to have to deflect some hits. Right. Oh. <laughs> wow. Drift King SDing off the stage, surprisingly enough. And oh. So did Donkey. Oh. Are they going one stock? Apparently. Or just. Oh, they're resetting. Okay. Oh. They were warming up. They were warming up. So now, now we're going into the official match, I believe. <laughs> All right. Now they're going. <laughs> Thank you, Rex. All right, switching over to the next screen here, it looks like we're going to be having Tyler choosing Donkey Kong going up against Grant's Bowser. Interesting matchup here. Again, both heavies, but Donkey Kong has that speed advantage over Bowser, but Bowser playing Bowser right, he has a big hit. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can take a lot of hits. Going Already right immediately in. going right wow, in for the for damage the with Tyler's Donkey Kong. Push him right off the edge. Trying to get him off the edge and knock him off, but that's not quite going to work. But he's already getting in some big damage on Bowser yeah. here. In the heavy's case, that might not matter. In the shield. Oh, and there's the sign B from Bowser getting in his own types of damage. Now he's starting. Now he's starting off. Oh, there's the forward the smash from Tyler's Donkey Kong, knocking him off the stage. And now we got Grant at two stocks. Eighty-three percent. Oh, wow! Ooh. One stock. Grant now at one stock, SDing off the side, couldn't quite recover correctly. Match. Donkey Kong still at three stocks, but has a lot of high damage, so if he can go for a hit here, he might be able to get at least one stock off of Tyler. Ooh! Hit the drop kick. Big off. hit. All right, brother, trying to get another side B get from Bowser. Getting some more chip damage, trying to get him in, but Donkey Kong's doing some more. Just another side B from it. Grant. Here we go, Bowser trying to look for an air to try and smack down on. Another side B. Side B keeps uh, Must honestly, be his move of choice the, uh, today. Yeah. It does give him a lot of options, though, to be able to try and dish out as much damage on um, Tyler as he can and try and get a confirmed kill. Punishing him for right. he doesn't want to. Tyler not easily going off the edge, being able to recover himself back on safely, but it looks like Bowser might be able to knock him off here. And he's back on. Ooh, there we go. Right off the edge. Nair from Bowser, and now Tyler and Grant both are at one stock, but Grant has significantly more damage on him right now, so he's trying to look to get in more of that damage on Donkey Kong, try and get in as many hits as he can to try and go for that final KO. Yeah. And the down beat. Ooh, and the forward smash game. from Grant calls the game. 
Massive comeback from yeah. Brands Bowser here in the beginning. Went Next straight round. from one stock and took all three. Yeah. Next round, you're going to be coming back in with the, that one stock. Yep. Let's take a look over here at Donkey Kong CT and Drift's Kings game. This is no longer their warm-up game. They're now playing for real. Uh, up air from Donkey Kong over there, trying to get Rosalina knocked off the edge here. Rosalina, a lot of damage built up already, but it's the same with Donkey Kong. And there is one of Rosalina's stocks. Drift King now at one stock, Donkey Kong at two. Wow. You can see him trying to knock the Luma away. Yep, trying to get rid of the Luma here, trying to get rid of Drift King's space. And there we go, a big hit from Luma. Donkey Kong have high damage right now. He could go for the winning strike to try and get him down to one stock. He keeps just knocking him up, that leading to Donkey Kong's disadvantage, not being able to do much. Donkey Kong charging there. up another neutral B. <laughs> trying to swipe him off the edge here, trying to not trying to not give him any chances to recover. Oh, and he whiffed wow. the neutral B, and Rosalina punished that effectively. They're now both at one stock each, but Rosalina has a bit more damage than Donkey Kong right now. She's going to have to do a lot more to be able to Definitely. come back from this on Drift King's side. Yes. Drift King is definitely taking advantage of Donkey Kong hitting the Luma. Absolutely. Trying to take Luma out of the game here so he can try and get into Rosalina, where she doesn't really have as, is not as effective up close, I guess I should say. She definitely does have that long range, though. Mm -hmm. Charging another punch from Donkey Kong CT, but not quite charged yet. You got rid A of grab from Drift King, trying to knock him up in the air, trying to juggle, not quite yet. Once again, Donkey Kong CT trying to side swipe him off the edge. As you can see, relatively even with the percent. Absolutely, Donkey things Kong. are neck and neck here right now. If Donkey Kong can play this right, he could easily hit Rosalina off. Ooh! Wow, just getting the combo destroyed. from Rosalina and Luma comboing in between was crazy. Building up a lot of damage, wow. and that's it! Huge down smash there at the end by Drift King. And if I'm not mistaken, I now believe that Grant is at two stocks. We're going to go ahead and switch over to Grant and Adeline's match. Grant, the Bowser from last match, who had a huge comeback. Hopefully we can see that again. It looks like we might be switching out here. All right, welcoming Lee to the announcer's table. How are you doing today, Lee? We are live right now. In the middle of the match between Grant and Adeline. Grant is the Bowser from last game that we saw come back with a huge comeback, but it looks like that will not repeat this match. Adeline getting in the final down smash that they needed to be able to come back, and it looks like Grant's going to go down to two stocks for his team. Wow. It said Aiden, not Adeline. Aiden, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> to be honest with you, I do still need to get my glasses. They're coming in. So I'm sorry if I misread some of these names. It looks like we're heading into the next match here with Drift King and Gold. Gold picking his Kazuya. I believe that I did see Gold's Kazuya the last time that I was here when we did our first eSports stream, and that was a huge match. First of all, Drift King is going to have a lot of the range to be able to space out Kazuya, not really give him as many chance to get in. But in Kazuya's cases, he has that big damage. He has the DLC privilege that Rex was talking about, so it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes between Gold and Drift King. Yep, and... Uh, I've been uh, seeing Drift King using Rosalina, Rosalina and Luma a lot today, so... Absolutely. We're ready to... Gonna cut over to Aid Aiden and Goose's match here for just a second. Ooh, oh. huge side B from Goose in Incineroar's case. Trying to poke in some damage. Again, we see Goose trying to get in, trying to open up the Jigglypuff, going for a side B there, it looked like. Both of them kind of jumping around, trying to get each other, and there's another side B from Goose, taking a stock off of Aiden. Aiden's got to look for a way to try and get in some more damage to Goose here. Goose, Goose is at a pretty decent amount of damage right now. More pokes from Jigglypuff. They're both 
both being very... All right, both being very cautious right now, trying to look for a way to get into the other person's personal space. Another side B attempt from Goose there. Jigglypuff chipping on the damage. More jabs coming in from Goose. Both of them at pretty mid to high damage right now, but it looks like Goof is feeling more of it. Goose still does have the stock advantage, so if he can get uh, Jigglypuff up to enough of the damage. Ooh. Oh. Uh, Aiden went for the kill and couldn't quite get it. Another side oh. B from Goose. The smash attack off the edge. Trying to try and find a way to swipe Jigglypuff, and there's another stock for Aiden. Goose at high damage, but still sitting comfortable at three stocks. Aiden now only on one stock. It looks like from the Gold and Drift King match that it looks like that Gold will be taking that match. So Drift King now down to, I believe, two stocks. Aiden's Jigglypuff trying to get in at least one stock on Goose here. Goose still at a high amount of damage. Any hit could matter. And now we welcome Merrick Combs to the announcement stand. How are you doing today, Merrick? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good? What we got going right now? Right now we have our match between Aiden's Jigglypuff and Goose's Incineroar. This whole match right now, Jigglypuff has been getting a lot of damage on Goose. Finally got a stock off of him. But right now, Goose is in the stock lead by a wide margin. He was for most of this game. Jigglypuff now at a very high damage percentage. And that forward and smash that. will be the end. He, another huge match for... Uh, Incineroar here. Goose. I apologize. So Goose is now at three stocks, and it looks like Aiden will be sitting at two now. And now we're going up against Gold's Kazuya against, uh, it looks like Rex's, DTB's very own Rex's Bowser combo in this case. Combo going for a side B, but Kazuya already building up the damage. Like Rex was saying before, we got that DLC privilege. <laughs> but Kazuya's already building up a high amount of damage on Bowser. See, Bowser's got that knockback resistance from the heavy, from him being so heavy. But right. Kazuya's got those hits. Yeah. Kazuya might be the best counter here to try and get through all of Bowser's tankiness. Being anywhere over 80 for Bowser is a pretty bad situation. Absolutely. Kazuya trying to go and trying to get him knocked off to the side, but it's not quite working. Another Ooh, side B from Combo, an SD side B. Interesting choice. It does kind of work out for Combo in this case, because now that the stocks are reset and the health is reset, he has a chance to build up more damage and to get the damage off of him from Kazuya. Once he picks away Kazuya, even around 80, he could just get one side smash. One side smash and that'd be it. And it looks like he's getting close there. Kazuya already close to 50%. But a huge hit from Kazuya, and he's already tied up combos Bowser instantly. Trying to get that chip damage away. Oh, no, going, going for another for side B, but he whiffed it, and Kazuya punishes. Gold trying to look for an opening here, and he gets it. Another big hit from Gold. Combo now at one stock. Gold has high damage, though, so all Combo has to do is try and look for a way to get in, but I don't think he's finding that right now. Oh, they're already back up to 50. Another side B from Combo here. Trying to go for that nair off the edge, but it didn't quite work. Oh, a huge grab from gold. Kamba once again trying to get in that chip, trying to find a way to be able to get in a hit that's strong enough to be able to take out at least one of gold stocks, and it looks like he will. Even on stocks, but not even on percentage right here. Absolutely. Bowser's still at a high amount of percentage. He's just going to have to do a lot of work to be able to get in. He might be a tank, but right now his damage, his percentage is just too high. One hit from Kazuya, and this could be the match. But it looks like Kazuya is going to get stun locked. A Ooh. big hit from Combo, and that is With the game. Dropkick drop kick from around the world. And it looks like Combo is still going to be at three socks, and I think that Goose is now down to two. Go Let's back over to Goose versus Big Q. Oh. <laughs> My bad. We are now at Goose versus Big Q. Gold is now down the two stocks. That is my mistake. Big Q versus Goose here. Goose here. So I, what I've seen from Goose's Incineroar in the past is that his favorite button that he has been using has been side B throughout all of his matches. This is going to be interesting to see if he kind of changes up or his approach or if we're going to be seeing the same thing here. See, it's got good side B, but launching him straight up or even forward isn't all that useful for a nest. Right. PK fire combo in here from Big Q's Ness. PK flash. Total whiff. 
Trying to find an opening here on Ness's part. Trying to get in a hit that might be able to get him the game. Right now, Goose only at one stock and high percentage. Ness still has two stocks to work with. You see, Ness is small and light, but a lot of his hits have a lot of knockback. So Incineroar's in a real bad spot here. Absolutely. Incineroar trying to play cautious here. Trying to find a way to get in some damage and ship him out. But also trying to save his, uh, trying to save his own stock as well. Another side, one of those famous side Bs from Goose here. Ooh, and and that's there. the stock from Big Q, and now it's one and one. But obviously, uh, Big Q's going to have a lot of that advantage. Goose already at 130%. Ooh, with the double Ooh, parry. A huge suplex from Goose, trying to hit him off the edge there. Almost sd a little bit, but he got back onto the stage. This is, a, this is looking close, despite the obvious percentage It's advantage. getting close. Goose might be able to come back from this if he keeps up this consistency. Goose has got that evasion. Absolutely. He does, has the, he does have the footwork. The percentage is looking a little bit closer now, but Ness is starting to gap, gap it out a little bit more. Oh, you can feel the hesitance. <laughs> you can smell the fear Ooh, from barely. here. Ooh, the PK fight. Oh! oh! Oh, oh, he recovers. Ness still recovers. See, Ness being light Going for a jab, Ooh, and that's it, it. Oh, I know that's got to be frustrating for Goose right now, but it looks like Goose is now down to one stock overall. Big Q taking over this win. Let's go ahead and switch back over to Combo and uh, I want to say Leah's match right now. Corrin versus Bowser. Now, I don't know much about Korn personally, but I know that right now, Bowser is not in the best space with 131% on him right now. But as long as he can get in those big hits, he should be fine, but he is on his last stock, so I am a little bit worried for combo here. Korin is a fairly decently slow on attacking uh, character, so combo, if combo keeps up that evasion, this could, be, this could be clutch. Oh, and there we go with the down smash from Combo. Now evening up the stocks a little bit. 1-1, one, one, but he still has the high damage on him. But he's already getting in a multitude of jabs. Trying to go for that bigger smash, but it looks like he's going to get punished out of that by Corrin. Corrin really trying for that side B. Leah really trying to get him knocked Ooh. out here, and that's it. There's the move that Leah was looking for. So now it looks like Combo's going to be at two stocks here. Leah taking that game from him. But now we're going to go ahead and switch over to Liam and Big Q. Big Q from last match, we saw a lot of, you know, big moves, ironically enough. No pun intended from him. But uh, now he's sitting only at one stock, going up against Joker with three, and that's a little bit concerning in this case because Joker has a lot of big moves and counters that are able to get him off the edge easily. You see, now we've got two floaty characters, one with a perpetual fairly heavy hit, and then one that only has... Uh, Joker has fairly heavy hits, but only when Arsene is out. Absolutely. So he's trying to look for get, getting that Arsene as, out as much as possible to try and make this match cleaned up. And you did see that earlier, him trying to charge up his Arsene with down B, and now he just lost it. So it's interesting to see how Liam's going to try and make his next approach. And it looks like he's trying to just, he might just be trying to get Big Q out here and now. Yeah, it, this battle's totally just a, a stock drain. Absolutely. Charging up Arsene again. Unless, it beca unless this gets real clutch, I, I can't see Big Q pulling out too well. It is a big question, and Ooh, no, and that's it, it with the forward smash. Liam taking out Big Q. Big Q now looking like he's going to be sitting at two stocks here overall. But now we got Leo versus No. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> <laughs> no playing Pyra and Mithra, my personal favorites, going up against Corrin. Ooh, oh. Oof, that is rough to watch. Looks like Leah now at two stocks. <laughs> All right, and it looks like Noah's going to be taking over that match right there. It Sounded looks like, like we're we going to be getting an interview. Swapping out with... I did the most. You want me to go or do you want me to go? Or do you you want to do an interview? Graham, do you want what do you want? Do you want me to do it? Are you going to be doing... All right, combos match with the Bowser. All right. Okay, interview with DTV Zone. How much? Rex Poth.
All right, we are now here with Combo from the last match. Seeing a lot of big matches from Combo. That crazy comeback match that you had at the first time. I think you were going up against Gold's Kazuya. Tell me about that match. Oh, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I played against uh, Andrews Kazuya so much, and he's... So he's getting predictable to me. So he kind of, I see what he does, and then I shield break him and get, kill him at, what was it, 27? How, how yeah, early? yeah, yeah. With that side 27 with the side beam. And he's a heavy character, so mm. it was even more, it was, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm so jittery from that last game. <laughs> yeah, we I noticed took, you had like high percentage most of the time. How did it feel like evading him like 90% oh, of the okay, time? Okay, yeah, so when I was playing against um, Corin's, uh, Amelia's Corin, um, she had three stocks and I only had one. And so um, since I played with her a lot as well. I've already known um, everything that she's done. And since she's improved so much as a person and as good as this game as she is, uh, I found it really like really interesting about how the game went. And I'm, I'm proud of how that went. So, um, yeah. you can hear the you can hear the nerves. <laughs> okay. Now, in the match between Lee and you and Leah, I know we didn't get to see much of it here, but tell me about that match. Tell me how you were feeling. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> we kind of couldn't at the end there when you were on a high percentage already, so it was interesting to see you trying to evade some of her attacks. You did get a stock off there in the end, but tell me about you know just trying to get out of Corin's you know kind of web yeah. of attacks there. Well, yeah, as as I played Amelia many times, uh, the the predictability kind of goes up. I'm I'm focused on what the opponent does. I know how I play my character. I know how you're supposed to play Bowser. Now you can start focusing on how the opponent is playing. What are their habits? What 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 can you exploit? So much. Like um, I was trying to exploit their recovery during the entire game, but I couldn't seem to do it because I was um, I was already taking damage for it, and she was mixing up her recoveries. Used, she used to just always do a jump up, always jumped up off ledge. I would always hit her, and she would get so mad at me. <laughs> but now she she's gotten better, and it's actually pretty nice to have that that game that happened. Now Absolutely. Going to, going to starting. I know. I don't think we saw a match where you started. Everyone has like their beginning, their beginning strategy. How do you start your matches? Um, I go. I see who I'm going up against, uh, person-wise and uh, character-wise. So, for instance, let's let's give the Kazi a match for example. Um, I'm going against a formidable opponent. He's good. I with that he, DLC privilege. The DLC privilege. He's got he's got more advantages than I have. So I have mm -hmm. to work around them. His range isn't as best as, as mm, Bowser's, yep. right? He's got slightly more range, but he's got more invincibility, and he's got all these super armors, and he's got all these other special mechanics that make it harder for me to win. But I have to exploit how he rolls all the time. He rolls in, he rolls out, he rolls in. He just, like, what I got to do is I just got to wait for him to do it, and then I'll just side beat him, and he gets so mad. He gets so <laughs> mad. And that's what won the first match, right? Exactly. Well... I um, did the down air. I start. I actually on purpose become a little bit more predictable. I do the oh, I'm gonna down air. I'm gonna down air. He shields it all the time. If I do one down B, that breaks the shield. That's the entire stock for the entire game, and that cost got us the win, really. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time here, Combo. Really appreciate you stopping in for the interview with us. All Hopefully, right. we'll be seeing you back here in just a little while. But <laughs> until then, enjoy your games, all man. Right, thank you. All right, and we're back.
Alrighty, and we're back with an Incineroar win. <laughs> Other game selecting a stage. Okay, and we've got both selecting a stage. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Looking like we got Aiden versus whoever's playing Terry. Dark Pit's a good a good pick. He's a s sort of a floatier character, but he is he is a heavy. And Incineroar again. What is the difference between Pit and Dark Pit? Dark Pit's a lot heavier with his attacks, and Dark Pit I believe has more Dark Pit has more damage. Meanwhile, Pit has more control. Oh, and he falls right off the edge. Goose looking like he's starting with two stocks. Dark Pit getting the first hit in. You see, with Dark Pit, 
that dark arrow, you can't move it as much because you can move it once it's fired out. But then it does a lot more damage and dark pit or normal pit, you can like you can get the arrow behind you. Pit with a good up B. Pit's Pit's recovery period is just really good. I think that's why it's like hanging by the edge more so that like if the other if Goose falls off the edge then he's basically gone, but if he does he can jump right back down. Yeah, Incineroar is fairly heavy, doesn't have that good a recovery, so if Dark Pit can keep him near the edge. Other games getting ready with Donkey Kong and S Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Hit trying to get as many hits in as he can, but Incineroar kind of kind of leaning back. Ooh, with that counter. <laughs> Waiting for that charge. I believe it is Goose. He really likes his side bees. Which is that little grab thing forward. Yeah. Ooh, and that hit. Well, then at 2v1, but Dark Pig's got all that damage on him still. With that signature side B, and he. Oh, he's coming back. Wow. And he's gone. 1 1. Sort of hesitating. Dark Pit going in. Looking like Goose trying to guard the ledge there. Back in with that side B. Trying for some chip damage. Get some with the up B. And that side B, there it is. Getting Dark Pit off the ledge. It's kind of his home territory. Ooh, and Incineroar. He got that punishment. Really close. All right, going over to Donkey CT versus Combo. See, Sephiroth's fairly light, but he's got that range, and DK's at fairly fast heavy. Oh, and he's gone. We got Landon in here. Now I'm the one looking right. small. <laughs> See, Donkey Kong. Just get, get it in there. Pretty even game so far. Sephiroth at the obvious advantage. And he's gone. And that's the end of the game. All right, and what we got going on? Got another d the dark pit back again versus Joker and okay, and that was the end of the game.
And it as quickly as it started. As we see, there's another match already starting. Get in DK there, looking uh, like he's starting with one stock. Wow. So for this, it's, it's really game. it's really just a a stock drain for DK. There's not unless he comes in clutch, there's not an easy way for him to win this. Got Pyra going wow. in, Mithra going in. Already just down and out almost. <laughs> Trying for that, that charge. Is. Swapping a Mithra or Pyra. I'm getting them backwards. Trying to get that. Something I noticed there. Donkey CT really likes keeping a charge on his neutral B. It's smart. Because if you need it most, you can hit him quickly. It, it can really come in clutch, yeah. That's the end of the game. Sadly, he couldn't get any stocks off. Good to the next. Joker versus uh, Big Q. All right, and we are back. Liam's Joker versus uh, Big Q's Ness. I have seen both of these in previous matches, that I ha matches, but I have not seen them up against each other yet, so this will be an interesting match to see. Ness definitely... Taking the lead. Absolutely. Just trying to keep that distance with that fire. Trying to separate himself from Joker here because Arsene gives Joker a lot of big damage. He's trying to avoid that right now. Ness getting in some hits on Joker right now. Bobbing and weaving, trying to get out of all of Liam's attacks. Hit him with the fire. Hitting him with the yeah, PK fire with combo, but that won't okay. quite work out for him, but he is almost 100% on Joker right now. Ooh, and it looks like Liam's, Liam is trying to get him off the edge here. Trying to go for a big hit, but it's not quite working. She just keeps trying to hit him with that fire. Oh, and they'll both be able to get back up on the stage. That was a little bit scary to watch there for a second. Liam trying to grab the Q off the edge, trying to go into punish, but it is not going to quite work. Another PK fire attack from Big Q's Ness. More big hits from Liam. The percentage is looking neck and neck. They both still have three stocks right now. Ooh, big hit from Big Q. Wow. Liam now down to two stocks, but he has a lot of room to work with here. Big Q still at a high percentage level. He yeah. definitely has room to even out the odds here. Definitely. But Big Q is just not giving it to him right now. He's able to successfully recover up onto the stage. Just avoiding all of those attacks. Not letting him get a single one in. Nope. Keeps hitting him with that fire. Yeah. PK fire getting in there. Ooh, and there we go. We are now 2-2. Two and two. Liam at the higher percentage right now, but he still has Arsene to work with. He can counter out some of that damage, but it does not look like he'll be able to. Arsene is gone, and he's now sitting at 99%. Above that now, and it looks like this could be the second stock for Liam here, but he recovers successfully. Big Q still at 0%. All right, <laughs> right as I said it. Grabbed by Liam, and he's now building up the damage once again. He has Arsene again. Just keeps hitting him. Big Q trying to keep on going for that uh, PK fire combo. Needs to switch it up just a little bit here to try and get in some bigger hits. But it looks like it's working out for him right now because Liam is now at 155%. All he needs is the hit that will be able to secure him the kill. That fire. Trying to go in with the bat. Joker trying to get in his own jabs here. Liam, ooh! That was almost it for Big Q. They're with side B from Liam, but it looks like both of them are just trying to get in, trying to do something here. Ooh, Liam's starting to juggle Big Q up into the air, but it looks like it's not working just yet. Big Q knocking him off the edge. Liam not at 175%. This is just surviving. Huge damage on both of them right now. Now it's just a battle of survival. This match has been very close the whole time we've been watching. Ness just keep getting in there with that PK fire. Just trying to get in. Get him weak. Absolutely, just trying to open him up. 
He's already has such high damage. It's insane to think that he hasn't even died once yet. Wow. And there's Big Q's stock. Come back from Hopefully Leo. Big Q will be able to get in some kind of stock, be able to get his stock off. So that way he's 1-1. One, one. Wow. Even game right now. Everything's back to being even now. We already got Liam starting off with that damage. Big Q at 20% as we see it. But now Big Q trying to farm a little bit more. They are still neck and neck. This has been a tale of the ages. Both of them just being so equal this entire match. Just dodging and blocking each other's moves like it's nothing. Absolutely. This fight has been neck and neck this whole time, and now Joker has Arsene. That is huge for Liam. He's able to get off some bigger hits on Big Q. Big Q almost has Dean. Ooh! Nice that nice was the bait the of win. the century! Dying by Ness's recovery is absolutely insane. You can hear the you can hear the crowd chanting in the background. And as we can see here, hugs going all around. Oh man. That is an absolutely wild wild win. We're going to get Quinn. Come on, let's get him in. All right. Thank God. No, Quinn, get over here. We have one more set. All right. We are now here with the Ness from the last match. Get on in here. The winner himself. All right, can you remind me what your user tag was? Uh, I think it was Big Q in that game. Big Q, absolutely. That was a wild match to see, man. Can you tell me about that last dock he got off at the end with the recovery? That was insane. Oh, yeah. um, Liam actually threw that game and went right into the PK Thunder. Mm -hmm. so, absolutely. Nice. What, what were you thinking that entire match? Uh, that was really hungry because I kept talking about food around me. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one question for you is that match was very neck and neck. Can you tell me what strategies you employed to be able to try and close out the distance and get secure yourself the win? Uh, just a lot of PK fires, you know, as Ness, you have to, and, mm -hmm. you know, fares and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty basic stuff. Absolutely. All right, thank you for stopping by with us, Big Q. No. An honor to have you here, my man. Go ahead and get back to your matches. All right. We're moving to... We are now next moving match. to the next match. It looks like we're selecting maps still for both uh, matches here. Whichever one's going to start first. Yep. Right now we're just waiting to see. Not sure who the lineup is yet, but hopefully we'll be able to figure out who's going to who next. And just figuring everything out. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna be going off the air for a minute here, bringing in uh, Mr. Rex Poff combo himself for just a second. All right, here comes in Combo himself, Mr. X Puff, and the announcer's headset. All right. Hello, Landon. How are you? Hello. How about you? I saw you win a few matches out there. Yeah. Even get interviewed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, okay, they're both deciding on what they want to do. Both of them are, you I think know. We should. Both of them are. I don't know what the camera. How is there a camera? No, we got the webcam right there. It's fine. Um, they're gonna start a game real soon on this on this one that we got going on. Wait, this one right here that we got going on right here. Um, it is five versus. So, Rosalina and Luma. Sam has three stocks, and Amelia has two. And then there's another person also on that team, Gold. So, Amelia has to SD right here. I think. Right. They, they told me this. Like, she got an SD. Wait. No, I guess not. So, the, um, three to three. Oh, they didn't. They <laughs> they didn't SD correct. Okay, so how that was supposed to go was they were supposed to fall off the edge and self-destruct yeah. because 
um, from the last, last round. round the last round, yeah. So, Amelia forgot. This is a common mistake. I did this many times in the actual competitions when we were competing against other schools. I've done that multiple times, and it feels horrible. <laughs> I, I just, it's like one of those things that you shouldn't feel bad about, but you feel horrible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is... Sam, who has to has to take away five stocks in order to even, to, wow. like, a lot. So, I mean, he's going to SD. We've, we've seen a lot from Sam so far. Yeah. And five stocks is capable. I did five stocks last round, so I, I have hopes for uh, for Sam. He's very well with that Rosalina and Luma. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, this matchup, mm, I don't know much about this matchup. I know I know each character's moves, but I don't really know how – I don't know how it works. I don't what, – what's the, what's the matchup? What's the matchup, huh? <laughs> he didn't tell me. Um, but the matchup for me, at least, as I think it's. Um, what do you? What do you? What do you? What do you think? I want to see I, what you I think. I think. I think. As we, I, I've not really seen as uh, much gameplay from Amelia, but I have seen a lot of gameplay from Sam. I believe that he may be able to take the win. Really? Oh yeah. Um, I think definitely that. I think it's. It, it might. It's close to even. It's close. But I think it is a uh, Rosalina win um because that down air can spike that definitely core. has that protection with the luma yeah yeah especially Just with the luma no one really right knows back. how to deal with it okay rosalina and luma is not a very popular character so it's kind of it's kind of weird for them to see this person like oh you're playing rosalina and luma competitively like that doesn't happen so it's kind of like it's one of those kind of weird feelings that you get you don't really see it too often oh he's oh Nope. <laughs> okay, they missed the um, they missed the counter and forward smash. Amelia is at one hundred and forty percent. One, both characters are like one hit away. Oh, down air spike, but missed forward air for the win. Not for the win. Sorry, the three two drift king is close. All right, if he takes another I stock here, he could actually win this. I it believe is they may have forgotten again to even out how many stocks each person should have. Yeah, like, this is... It's it's close right now. It's actually way closer than it seems. Even though they're, like, three stocks, there's another person... Oh, he yes, SD'd! Oh, no! Amelia SD'd! Oh, no! Wow. That, I'm telling... It's great game. That down air. That down air. Three that down to air. zero. Three to zero. Three stocked. Three... St no, not three stocked. Two stocked, because she didn't have an extra stock. But this... Is close. Gold, Kazuya Mishima versus Drift King Sam as Rosalina Luma. Three stocks each. This will determine if they do point match or. Stop. <laughs> They're arguing with me. They're arguing with me. It's fine. <laughs> so it is an even match now, three three. Uh, let's take a look at the three three game going on right now. But we want to see um, that other match going on right now. I'm gonna switch out with Lee. All right. So they're gonna start. They're gonna start this match. We want to start. We want. We want to see this one because this is the closest game that we got going on. Three three. Kazuya Mishima versus Rosalina and Luma. This game is going to be good. All right, so they're going to start out, both of them, 3-3, three, three, both of them. So this, there's no SDs. So, wait, not a real match? Why? Okay, so let's take, well, now that they're they're doing a practice round, apparently they can do that. I've never, yeah, I've never done that. You have those while you're yeah, going it's, against you, each other. Yeah, I've never had that happen to me before, Should a practice go, match. It's the, it's the other let's, one? let's look at the, mat, the other one. All right, so currently we got Grant playing his King K role. I love his King K role. It's really strong. And then Aiden's... Um, Jigglypuff? Yes. At, le at least you know. <laughs> Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is, I think, going to be a slight counterpick for um, Grant here because, well, their air mobility is very, very good, and they can just, you know, hit them off and off the stage. And um, although King K. Rule does have that, like, propeller up B that really helps out and is really is really strong. He is heavy. And, and he's got that weight factor as well. Yeah. So he's got that weight, but the, the big hitboxes and the um, – maybe the projectiles will do, but he – but Adrian could just jump over it. But for the for the matchup, um, I might think it's a 
pretty even to maybe slightly tilted towards Jigglypuff kind of win here because um, most heavies are just generally worse than other characters because their frame daddy isn't as good. But the only thing they got really going for them is power and weight. So that's the things that they're really going for. But here, is that a real match? Real match. Okay, they're getting into the real match right here. This is going to be the close one that we were talking about. Let's see what happens. So they're both playing it off pretty patient right here. Both of them trying to get the first hit. First hit off on. Misses that electric wind god fist. That electric wind god fist is amazing. It really tries to give him all that combo potential that he needs. But Drift King is just juggling Kazuya. Kazuya didn't know what to do. Lands on that top platform, gets that shield. Something's yeah, happening. Something's happening. I think something's, something's happening. Something's happening on the other one. Go. What are they screaming about? Oh, he's getting obliterated. Whoa! Oh. Wow! What? No way! Dang! Wow! Okay, we should get back. Get back to the match. All right. <laughs> even they, no, they were paused too. <laughs> they, they even paused the game on us. They were, they were wondering what's going on. Sometimes when you're playing the games, you don't see it happening. But right now, it looks like percentage-wise, Drift King is in advantage. He's got that juggling going on for him. Kazi doesn't have that very good down air that's going to really help him out. He has raise drive. He lands that forward smash, almost killing Kazi off the side split smash zone. There's a split blast zone. So he's going to land that raised drive. That does 40%. 40%. That <laughs> That is dumb. I love Kazuya. Of how many things that are just in, just, hey, I get this, I get this, I get this. You don't. Like, it just all of these mechanics, all of these things that aid him in the way he is. He could lose half of his mechanics and still be a great character. I'm a big Rosalina and Luma guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you rooting for... Absolutely. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? B bias. <laughs> but um, both of these characters, I love both of them. I can't I can't argue with either of them. Oh, lands the force smash on Luma. That Luma's not coming back after that. But, oh, okay. So this is really, really... Oh, neutral right. B on gold. Neutral wow. B gold um, kills with uh, that laser. What is the laser called? I forgot what it is. It's always dragging something or fist or something or demon god, whatever. But he lands that um, up tilt. I don't remember how Rosalina and Luma works. I am still trying to figure out how Rosalina and Luma works. I might be talking so much, but I don't know how Rosalina and Luma works. I'm confused. Just talking to talk. I just <laughs> I'm just talking to talk. But um, I can I know how how Rosalina and Luma beats me all the time. They beat me all the time. So it's kind of like it's kind of it, it feels very, right. Very versatile character to use because you have like two of them. Yeah, the puppeteer characters are very hard to learn, but are very, I would think, strong. Except in this case, Rosalina and Luma. Rosalina is almost as big as Bowser. Like, Bowser's pretty big, and then but has like the weight of like several, like a very lighter character. So that that's kind of not very good in that in, in any situation like that because. Big hitbox and lightweight, you'll die just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Four tilt kills below 100. Okay, these characters are really... I mean, Kazi is known for killing below 100, but Rosalina is not very notorious for that. Uh, they're really good with the um, ledge trapping and edge guarding. He gets that rage drive 40%. That rage drive is amazing, but that is a command grab, and he lands it every single time. He's got, like, no fail on that. All right, he lands that forward um, air that does... Kill off the side. Oh, and he misses that forward smash. He's really trying to get that risky move up, um, up throw, um, neutral B. Let's see here. Okay, he's trying to edge guard him with that neutral. Ooh, no. Oh, he lays the side B. Oh, oh. no! And that Wait is out. set. So, set two goes to down smash. All right. So that means this is going to be a third game. All right. That, that means this is going to be a third. Which means I gotta go. Oh, have fun. That's going to be a go. Uh, we, uh, someone else over here? All right. See you guys. Mute the mic. We got to mute the mic. All right. We back, me and Lee. Yep. Got a stage pick here. We got Characters. Goose. Goose finding an opponent. Going with Incineroar per, per use. Good old side B with Incineroar.
Sounds like we're trying to figure out who's going with who. ones this game's gonna be big sounding like this is the start so we got that full full 3v3 working on stages at the moment gotcha We'll take a break for a minute while they're doing this. Alright, starting off this game with a coach himself versus Goose. Wow. Leading with that side B. See, Captain Falcon's a much faster character, but he is fairly light. Going for that ledge bait. Playing off the arena is very advantageous for Falcon, because Incineroar cannot recover. Not too easily. Missing that side B. And he's gone. Center are playing it safe. Going for that side B. Launching him off the side. Ooh, tried for the counter, but could not pull it off. And he's outside and he's gone. We got two to two, but Falcon at 89 is a very dangerous spot against a heavy. Doing a little dance into the side B. Captain recovers. Going for a little dash dance there. Falcon in a dangerous spot. Still he lives. Side B. And there it is. Side B. My boy loves his side B. It works. Man grabs are a very useful tool. Oh, oh and the he spike! He's gone! Wow. Incinerated. I mean, yeah, we, we just saw fire fighting fire. Looking like big Q. Getting landed in here. Starting this match, and Cinerar getting back to his two stock. Joining me here, we got Landon. How you doing today? Pretty good. How about you? Pretty good myself. 
Go for and that then side. Another beat. side B. Just keeps getting him with it. See, command grabs against a character like Ness is very useful because Ness has those heavier hits. Ness also seems to be a lighter character. He, yes. He's like getting much launched out. Pretty even game. Looking like Sue and Big Q join in with two stocks. On Ness left. is trying to keep hitting it with that PK fire. Trying to get that chip damage in, bring him to 100, and ooh, he's coming back. And then Goose is just trying to keep getting that side B. All reliable. Yeah. With that forward air. Both players definitely trying to get the those attacks in. Punch Goose hitting up. another side B once again. A launch up and up air. Just keeps getting Ness with that. See, playing Ness this game, f playing more. this game's far is advantageous for Ness because Incineroar doesn't have range. Yeah, especially with that PK fire, he just keeps getting that chip damage off on him. Ooh, can't quite recover. So close. Leaning towards Goose's favorite because he got heavy character two stocks versus a light character the one. Yeah. I don't know. He, he, he might come back. I could see it. He could clutch this out totally. We've seen Big Q play, and he's got those moves. Yes. <laughs> Keeping Incineroar in the air is a definite, definite good idea. Ness is Especially with that side B. Yeah. Ness's aer aerials got those, uh, got those heavier hits. Ooh, tried for the counter. Wow. And he's gone. Are we looking at a clutch match, match here, folks? I don't know. With the 70%, he might just get knocked off pretty quickly. He keeps up the evasion. He could tick him up until, until he gets in that range. The, Ooh. Almost got the side view. One solid PK flash. And he's, ooh, and he's trying for it. He's gone. Ness's recovery is just too strong. If Ness could be, actually get Goose off the map... Yeah, ne could, Ness is went. a bit floatier. He launch, he gets Incineroar anywhere near that edge. That that's his that's Ness's home territory. Ness can come back easy. Counter off the edge. And that and he's for gone. the game, the but final that was close. Side, it was it was a very good comeback from Ness. Incineroar only went down one stock because if you remember at the start it was 2v3. Yes. We come to the other game here. Popping over to Donkey CT versus Gold. I, Gold actually appears to be losing but could change to an equal game with Even that huge out. attack. See, Kav Kazuya got those heavy hits. He's got a smaller hitbox, but he's definitely a bit on the heavy side, sort of in the mid-range. He also has those crazy big attacks. Oh, yeah. He's got plenty of grabs, too, which is mm. definite counter to DK. DK has to get up close and personal. Yes. DK got those spike... Got the spike uh, attempt. This could be a good game, both even. About... All it takes is one solid hit on wow, Kazuya. Oh, just and that he's gone. one just messed up hit. And we're going to the other game with Ness and Joker. Got big Q versus Liam. Liam likes to play it safe, wait for Arsene to come out. Yes. Definitely tries to. We actually saw the same matchup a little bit earlier. It ended up being a very close match. Liam ended up with only one stock and got down got big Q down to one as well. Nearly won the game, but Ness definitely turned it around. Ness utilizes his down B well. He could heal off of uh, Joker's many yes. energy-based attacks once he gets his Arsene out. You got that big hit. Going with the up throw, th throwing him off. Ooh. He's definitely hitting a lot with that PK fire. Getting those Trying chips to in. as much as he can. 
You can see him just throwing it out 24-7. He definitely likes to chip his way up and then get those big yes, hits in at the end. Definitely. You can see he tries to get a, that counter. Oh, he just gets knocked right Even off in it, Evening it out. Exactly. Ooh, oh, almost oh, with that flash. Hit him with that bigger attack. Doing a little dance to dance. Yes. That's actually getting thrown around quite a bit. Seems to be up. trying to play him into the side there. That's trying for that bait again. Keeps hitting with that PK fire. Just can't quite land it. Nice. Trying for that PK. Ooh. He almost got that off. Could that be a recover? Ooh, and oh, and he just gets knocked off the edge. Did not let him come back. Although it's one solid hit from evening it back out. Exactly. Especially with the, oh, and that's his heavier moves. He could definitely just one hit him. That's definitely trying for the chips, but Joker's really hitting him hard. Trying for that flash into the counter, pulling out our son. Finally pulling out the shields. Ness definitely trying to get away. He's knocking him around. Ness could get that one big attack and he could just even up the game or Ooh, just Andy's get gone. ended. Wow. Good game from Liam. Go to both people, both sides choosing their characters. All right. Looks like we're going to have two matches up queue in here at the same time. We're going to have Donkey CT versus Drip King and Liam versus Big Q. All right. Starting off the match with Donkey Kong CT and Drip King. Automatically, things are very even between them. They actually have the same percentages right now, but it looks like Rosalina is kind of trying to. Ooh, and now Drip King has officially lost Luma. Definitely at a disadvantage at this point from yep. that. Sacrifice to try and get off the damage, but now Donkey Kong has a lot of room to work with here, trying to evening out, evening out the percentages as he's going along. Already had a high percentage, but he's dragging Drift King up there with him. It looks like very... Luma's now back. Ooh, big hit from Drift King onto Donkey Kong CT, but he will recover that. And it looks like Luma's going to be sacrificed again if he can't get Luma back up where he needs to be. And now Here's Luma's back. He still has the range to his advantage, and now he has the damage advantage over Donkey Kong CT as well. They both are very high damage right now, though. Trying to go for a smash attack off the edge with Luma, oh. but that will not work, and he gets punished for that. Rosalina just being that lighter character, just getting knocked off the side so easily. Absolutely. This is definitely not a matchup in Drip King's favor. Donkey King being a more tank character, being able to take more hits and dish out more damage than Rosalina is. If Rosalina can get that distance, though, it could be a pretty even Absolutely. game. Absolutely. And as we can see, it has been even so far. Both characters now at two stocks. Both of them building damage back up, but it looks like so far Drift King has the damage lead here. Getting Donkey Kong CT all the way up to 100%. If he could just keep that distance, he could just take the win. Absolutely. Another huge smash attack from Drift King, and now that it's in his favor right now. Two stocks compared to one, and he's already getting more damage off on Donkey Kong CT. Looking over here at Liam and Big Q's match in the background here, it looks like we are currently 2-3 in their stock count. Drift King trying to hit him with Luma, trying to go off the side and try and get in some extra hits, but it looks like Luma's officially now out of this round. Charging up another neutral B from Donkey Kong CT, Donkey getting ready Kong to throw that punch. The, uh, the stock killing punch. Might be able to get Rosalina right off the edge. 
very close to death. It's almost a matter of footwork here. Both of them trying to be cautious and maneuver around each other. It looks like he has lost his charged punch now, so he's just trying to go for whatever attack he can. Rosalina trying to juggle him up in the air a little bit on Drift King's side. The juggling, it look, appears to be working. Do he hit that attack? Down smash from Tonky CT. Oh, and it looks like Rosalina, nope, she backs up, she recovers, and Luma is back. But a he huge toss from Donkey Key CT, thrown right off the edge. But he's at high damage right now. Drift King has a lot of room to work with here. One good attack, and this could be game. He does have that charged up attack. He does have his charge go. neutral B right now. So if he can get at least one good hit, it could be game over for, uh, for Rosalina. Yeah, but right now, as we can see in this match, so much damage is on Donkey Kong CT right now. I don't think that neutral B is going to matter unless he can get it off at the right time. Yes. It's just a matter of who has the fancier footwork right now. Definitely looks like huge Drift grab from King Drift King will be taking the win. Like the attack coming up off the punish. Ooh, going for the nearly as deed. No, actually, what I think he was Donkey Kong CT was going there. There's actually ooh wow. down smash from Drift King, costing Donkey CT the game. But what I think Donkey CT was going there. If you could pick up an opponent and grab them, you can actually toss them at the edge of the stage and knock them off. I think that's what he was trying to go for as a last ditch effort. Nearly fell off though. Himself. Yeah. Going for a last it's effort move, but that definitely did cost him the match. Let's go ahead and cut over to Liam and Big Q's match right here. Right now, Liam in the stock lead, and he does have R sent out. But as we saw from the last match between Liam and Big Q, this could go either way, honestly. With Li Liam does have this stock advantage, though. So Absolutely. And they both are high damage right now, so even if Liam does have his stock taken out now, he does have another stock to spare. Trying to go in for a hit with R sent here, trying to co close off the game quickly, but it does not look like Big Q is going to give him that chance. Like trying to charge up our son. PQ fire. Yep. Trying to charge up our son once again. Like Big Q said in his last interview with us, he's just going for that PK fire and over and over, trying to chip in damage. But Liam grabbing him, tossing him. Oh, no, that's Big Q's grab. Wow. Liam now at one stock. But Big Q still has that high damage, so he has to look for a poke here. Definitely trying to avoid as much damage as physically possible. Gold's Kazuya and Drift King's Rosalina queuing up in the next match wow, here, and that's a that's huge an hit end. from Liam. That's the end, to. Liam taking out Big Q, getting over to Gold Drift and Drift King King's Gold. match. Now we know about Gold's Kazuya, according to the combo from the last interview, is that sometimes he can be a little bit predictable, but he still has that big damage, he still has the ability to be, get in what he needs to get. I'm going to be switching with Lee. All right. A little bit confused about what's going on here, Lee, now that you're joining us. Uh, it looks like Drift King SD'd twice, so maybe Drift King is going to be starting off with one stock, which puts Gold at a serious advantage here. There we go, Gold already getting in the high damage, but it looks like Drift King. You know, Drift King's already um, giving Gold the work. He's already driving up Gold's damage right now, trying to close out that gap that Gold has currently created with the uh, two-stock advantage over Rosalina right now. More big hits from Drift King. He might be able to get his stock off from Kazuya and a huge grab from Gold. Now at a high percentage from Di for Drift King, which is not good news because they only have one stock to work with. Getting more hits from Luma, trying to get a stock off of him right now. Getting a little bit too risky there, almost sd but just barely manages to recover. Gold getting in one big hit. Keep thinking Drift King's about to lose Luma when they're off on the edge, but... Absolutely, they are taking it. big risks. Oh, and there's a stock off of Gold. Right, but they're at 100. Right, there's could be very much in Gold's favor still. Already high damage, and all he has to do is just get one big oh. off move, and there it is. And that's the game there. All right. Just give us one second. All right, coming back here, it looks like we only have one match set left, and it's going to be over here on the right side of our screens. 
Recruiting up against Gold and Combo. Golden Combo going up against in this match. And like we saw earlier today, uh, when it comes to Golden Combo, you know, Combo has kind of the know how, according to him, about how Gold's Kazuya works. So it's interesting to see if uh, he's going to be able to throw him off here a little bit in this match. I think Gold might be going for a one stock advantage here because he's SD twice. Or two stocks. All right. He's now taking a stock off. So right now, Combo's definitely at the advantage, but like I said, Kazuya can get that big damage and kind of get through Bowser's tankiness, but it already looks like Combo's having something to work with here. Another side B from Combo. Huge damage on Gold already. Definitely not letting this advantage go to waste. Gold, all the, gold already at one stock. Things are not looking good for Gold here. Combo still with a low percentage in all three of his stocks. And Bowser is very tanky, so Gold's going to have to get in a lot of work to be able to win this match, but I just don't think he might have a chance here. He's got to utilize his grabs. And Absolutely. It's all about the footwork in this match right now. He's just got to evade Bowser as much as he can and not get in close. Oh, a whiff on that side B. But he did block out of it. Another side B from Combo. This could be it for Gold if he does not clutch this up real quick. Ooh, a whiff Nair from Combo. Ooh. Gold getting him off with an electric I beam, I believe it was called, off the edge. Combo now sitting at two stocks, but he's still sitting nice and comfortable. Still high damage and only one stock on gold right now. Ooh, another big grab from gold. If gold could keep this momentum going, this could be a closing of the match here, but he just can't quite get it with the last side B from combo being that game. He persisted really long at, at that high percentage on one stock. Absolutely. You know, Gold was really putting up a fight there at the end. He did manage to get one stock off of Combo, but like he said earlier, you know, like he said earlier, it looks like, uh, you know, Combo just kind of has the know-how on uh, a lot of Gold's tactics and maneuverisms. It looks like he might be grabbing Gold here for an interview after that match. Looks like it. All right. And here with us right now, we have Gold himself. Yes. So go ahead and tell us about that match. I know that you uh, started off at a stock disadvantage. Uh, how was it trying to maneuver around and trying to get around the combo with that kind of a disadvantage? Disadvantage was pretty big, but I also think the stage, Kazuya not really liking platforms a lot, but I did feel like after I figured out what I had to do, I did make a slight comeback. Absolutely, we did see that one stock that you got off of combo there actually was pretty big. And then you were getting up to higher damage, but that side B at the end obviously did cost you a little bit. Um, when it comes to going up against combo's Bowser, he did say earlier he kind of has the know-how almost about um, how to get around you. Like he can kind of predict some of your moves in that match where you're trying to throw him off a little bit and mix some stuff up. Yeah, I mean... We have been playing a lot, so of course he's going to learn some things about me. But sometimes I have to change depending on the person, right? Right. Absolutely. Got to keep him on his toes. Yeah. Mm hmm All right. Well, that's all we're going to have for here for you, Gold. Thank you for coming to visit us, man. No problem. Thank you for having me. No problem. All right. And we're going back to the next match of this set. It looks like it's going to be Leah's Corrin going up, going up against uh, Combo's Bowser. This is going to be a rematch from earlier, another rematch um, right after Golden Combo. Once again, Combo and Leah. Now, last time, uh, it did look like Leah had a little bit of an advantage over Combo, and she's going to have an advantage again this time around. Last match, Leah did take that win, so it's going to be interesting to see if Combo can work around this disadvantage and try and take home a win for his own team. Leah already kind of juggling Combo around a little bit, but Combo trying to get in for those big hits. Another side B from Combo. Getting in some high damage on Leah right now. 
trying to chip away at her, trying to outmaneuver her a little bit, but obviously Corin being a faster and lighter character, she has a lot more of that movement speed to try and get around Combo's tankiness, and it looks like Combo actually is going to get that side B off. <laughs> Taunting Leah just a little bit. But it looks like Leah will not take that taunt lightly. Trying to knock him off the stage here, but Combo is maneuvering around Corin quite well. Yeah, and here he comes blocking. Oh. Yeah, and there's the punish. Leah waiting for his shield to run out, and just at the right moment, now Combo is down to one stock. Still at the disadvantage here after just closing the gap, unfortunately. She's out, she's out for revenge. Absolutely. She's out for revenge right now for the taunt on the last stock. Like we said, Combo's trying to make this comeback from the last game that he had lost against Leah, so hopefully he can try and make something out of this, but he's already a little bit high damage right now. He's going to have to maneuver around a lot to be able to get around Leah, but unfortunately Leah just has more of that advantage when it comes to movement. Combo already at a high advantage. The damage gap is there. Leah still has two stocks to work with. Bowser now at 100%. One good hit from Leah, and it could be all be over for Combo. And another side B from Combo, one to one stock. Combo still at a high amount of damage, though. He's going to have to do a lot here to make it work. Trying to look for an opening here, but it looks like Leah getting another massive hit. 135 damage on Combo now. Trying to look for a way to open her up. A whiff the poke, and then she's going to oh. get it again. And that will be that game. Leah being the victor with just one stock remaining. Obviously, that stock disadvantage did put Combo at a little bit of a tough spot, and it looks like Leah definitely took advantage of that. I guess the lesson learned here is uh, don't taunt people after you beat them. Absolutely. That taunt was a, <laughs> was a little bit cocky of Combo in that match there. Especially with the disadvantage. All right, right now, just waiting for the next match to queue up. It looks like this next match is going to be Leah going up against No. Leah's Corn once again. Very fast character, very light on their feet, but no goes for Pyra and Mithra. An interesting choice to deal with Koran because Myth he can swap between the two characters. Mithra has a lot of movement to be able to keep up with Koran, but unlike Koran, uh, he can switch to Pyra to be able to get in bigger hits and to be able to get more kill moves. Alright, starting off with Mithra again. Looks like Leah's going to be giving him the advantage here after last, mat last match. It looks like it's going to be a two-stock advantage here for No. Doesn't look too good. This is not looking too good for Leah here. Obviously, she took uh, advantage of the um, combo stock last time, but No just might be taking advantage of her stock this time around. But now... Huge grab from Leah in that case. No, already up to 55% damage, which is huge. But he switches to Pyra immediately, trying to get in some bigger damage here, sacrificing the movement for the bigger damage. And it looks like it just might be working, trying to knock her off the edge, but gets punished for it. Uh, up B from him, huge. Leah already at a lot of damage. This is not looking good for Leah here. Tries to go for a neutral B, but it does not quite work. Gets punished for that whiff. Another huge hit from Leah. No, now up to 104%. Leah might be able to get a stock off of him here. It is neck and neck in damage right now. It's just whoever gets the first big hit. And it looks like that might be no with that last hit, but not just yet. Juggling Leah now. Another big hit from Leah. Damage is still... Still even. Even with the stock disadvantage, they're both fighting to survive right now. Up attack after up attack. Up smash after up smash. It is absolutely even. There it is. Leah hitting off a stock off of No, which is crazy considering the disadvantage she was at. But oh. that will be it. All it took was the one punish, and that's it. No is the victor of that match.
There it is. <laughs> All right. And it sounds like that might be the end of this tournament tonight. Looks like Down Smash won. Down Smash being the winner of this tournament tonight. Lots of big battles. Okay, okay. No misconceptions. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish up the stream here. Thank you guys for tuning in with DTV Esports today, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.